the other thing to think about about the et uh, etiology of complex trauma is the role of cognition in there, which um, is that you know some uh, diagnosis like Desnos comes about uh, often from a traumatic event that's been happening in a, a relationship you have with someone, an ongoing relationship, and that means that you develop particularly cognition, particular cognition around um, what relationships mean. So things like power, control, um, intimacy is a big one, trust. Um, you can see that in PTSD, but you particularly see it in Desnos as well. And so uh, it's something worth, again, that's about the interpersonal space. So you're looking at not only behaviors, but schemas around those big kind of themes of intimacy and power. Um, and the other thing to think about is that they've done large studies, particularly involving women that have um, access counseling as a result of uh, childhood sexual abuse and domestic violence, um, or together. And what they found is, particularly with the women seeking counseling for childhood sexual abuse, they don't see counseling because of PTSD symptoms, even though, again, a vast majority of them, if you do a proper assessment of them, they will have the PTSD symptoms. Uh, they don't come so to manage nightmares, they don't tend to come for that, or to, or a lot of the, de the death nurse symptoms, what they come for is to change a relationship often, or to manage relationship better. That's often the main reason for accessing counseling. So. I want to be able to say no to my kids without feeling like I'm a monster. I want to be more assertive with my boss. I want to have sex with my husband again, those sorts of things. Um, so they're very much relationship based. And again, there is indication that if you're going to think about complex trauma, you need to think about the interpersonal dimension of trauma. That's what's important.